and hello to our fans online. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Sunny Hassan with the top stories on this Friday, August 3rd. We begin with a fatal bus crash in southern Illinois. A double-decker megabus slammed into a concrete overpass, killing one person and injuring dozens more after blowing a tire. The bus was on its way from Chicago to St. Louis and Kansas City. Rescuers used ladders to get trapped passengers out of that bus. Discount carriers, including megabus, are closely watched for safety breaches, but this company claims to have the highest federal safety rating. The man who has tried to bring peace to Syria is giving up. Former United Nations Chief Kofi Annan has negotiated for six months while Syria has descended into civil war. Annan pointed the finger not only at the factions inside that country, but at key outside countries that have failed to compromise. Three anti-nuclear activists, including an 82-year-old Catholic nun, are accused of cutting through fences to break into an ultra-secure plant where highly enriched weapons-grade uranium is stored. The plant in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, remains closed this morning while the activists are due at a detention hearing this afternoon. And finally, to the Olympics, where Team USA is on top with 37 medals total, three more than the Chinese, and the same number of goals. Japan is in third place as the competition is underway in London. Halfway through, Team USA looking pretty looking good. good. <laughs> and Lochte's still your favorite, right? Yes. <laughs> I like Gabby now. She's, she's now America's sweetheart, too. Congrats yeah, to her, too. Yeah. yeah, broke a lot of some ground there with her. So congrats to all the athletes over there. Keep making us proud. You can yes. get more news anytime at ABCnews.com. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Sunny Haas, and thanks so much for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.